Okay, so I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna show you how to rig up the combo. Uh, it's pretty simple. I always snip off that head just so it sits more flush on the smeltinator. It's a 3 8 3 aught smeltinator jig head. This one's a 5 inch Ralph Shad, Z-Man, Santa Jerk Shad. You can use the streaks, you can use the 4 inch. This is kind of my preferred one. So I'm just gonna start in. And just kinda get it, you know, right about there and then I'll, I'll just kind of have it half cocked to that collar and it looks goofy right now that's not how you're gonna fish it I'll just take a dab of glue any kind of gel style super glue works I'm not too picky on that we'll put it on that conical keeper and that's really where this um, jig head has you know it's got a bunch of advantages but that's one of them uh, it'll really hold the glue in there and then I'll just take this and just snap it up now we got Gary laser eyes there, just rock it straight. And that's a big key. I mean, these fish get a good look at your gear. Smeltinator jig head, super realistic. This thing's a proven catcher. I mean, no matter where you go in, in North America, that's the small mouth cold water jig. So that's it right there. Tied on a 10 pound suffix advanced floral and ice you know, 10 pound suffix, pro mix braid and that's it. Simple rig, medium light spinning rod, 7-1 omen that one is, but you don't have to get crazy technical and just get good on your graph and you'll get good at catching cold water bass.